we, we did great, like until about 84, 85, and then all of a sudden gravity sunk in and the hair bands came in and we were not the coolest thing that ever lived and, you know, things change. But you've been playing all along, right? Well, yeah, we played straight through, you know, and did great until about 84, 85, and then uh, all of a sudden tickets started not selling so great and records weren't selling so great and Columbia Records dropped us in 86 and then um, couldn't get a deal. And, uh, but to compare it to like, there's so many bands out today that had like one hit or right. two albums and right. they strewn to the wind. You know, we were, you know, we were pretty deep into it by that time. Late 80s wasn't easy, you know, um, the band didn't play much. Uh, everyone sort of do started doing their own thing and um, uh, no record deal and um, everyone just started doing other things. And then our management called us up in 88, 89 sometimes, said, we're getting a lot of offers. You know, do you want to go back to work? So uh, what kind of offers? You know, well, for one, a tour of Europe. You know, you can get this great gig in Greece as the linchpin for a whole tour of Europe. Okay. You know, Lanier had left, called him up and said, you want to go do a gig in Greece? And he said, I'm, I'm, I'm reading the Greek classics right now. That's awesome. Wow. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, we got a couple of different players because, you know, Albert had been let go in 81. Joe had quit in 85. Um, so we got a couple of other players. So it was me, Alan, and Buck, you know, reformed the band with a couple of other guys and did a tour of Europe and um, the 90s was a, a little bit of a scramble until the mid 90s and then uh, for some reason um, people have latched back on to us in like the last decade and uh, it seems a little weird to say but even including the 70s 08 is our best year in history. Wow. Yeah.